Hi all, this is Dana here. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use a thread sorter. So basically what a thread sorter is, is it is designed to help organize your floss. You can do it either by using a bobbin, uh, and I show a video of that, and I'll put that in the video description as well. Uh, but you can also use a thread sorter that is included with all of the handy little gadget patterns. So basically what you're going to be wanting to do is to the take the last page or the two last pages depending on the pattern uh, that has the thread sorter printed on it and you can see it here in the, the video and what you're going to do is want to print that uh, preferably onto a thin card. Uh, after you've done that uh, you're going to be wanting to cut out the card around the actual details so including the little circle and obviously the name and the number of the thread. Once you've done that you can punch holes into the little circles next to each uh, thread name and number. You'll also notice that's where the symbol is for that particular color. That will help you figure out your pattern and uh, which symbols are which. Uh, as you can see also in the picture I've included a picture of the little bobbin that I've done. I've done a whole video on how to do bobbin windings. So that's another way to organize your floss as well as a thread sorter. Uh, once your thread sorters have the floss put onto them, basically you can just double uh, some strands. Don't make them too long. I tend to make them from the length of my elbow up to my fist. That's about how long I make my strands so they don't get tangled when I'm sewing. Uh, you can just double them in half and loop them through the holes you've just punched in your, your thread sorter and that's how you can organize them. You can either clip those little bits of card to your pattern or put them in a little basket next to you. Whatever happens to be easiest. But it is quite a, a handy way to keep track of your floss and also start seeing when you're starting to run out of certain colors as well. So yeah, that's how the thread sorter works that comes uh, with all the handy little gadget patterns. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.